Hello dear students, welcome to my channel Visual Physics Tutor, the best place to learn the concepts of physics in the most easiest and finest way. So today we will be studying about electric dipole moment. So as you can see here, electric dipole moment is represented by the letter P. Previously, we have studied about electric dipole where we studied that it is two equal and opposite charges separated by a very small vector distance. So you can suppose I take here a negative charge and a positive charge and then they are separated by a small vector distance to a vector. Then this system can be called as an electric dipole. And we also learned that it is a vector quantity and the direction of the electric dipole moment is from negative to positive. So now today electric dipole moment, how do we define it? It is actually defined as the product of the magnitude of either charges and the distance between them. So we can define it as the product of magnitude of either charge and distance between them. So now this statement can be expressed in the mathematical form. So it's electric dipole moment so it is given by P vector. Now it's a product of two quantities that is a magnitude of either charge so that can be written as Q and the distance separating the two charges as from the diagram you can see that it is 2A vector. So we get a formula P vector is equal to Q into 2A vector. Now to understand about the SI unit of this electric dipole moment for Q which represents charge we know it is coulombs and 2A that is the actually the distance between the two charges so that can be represented as M. So we know that now the SI unit for electric dipole moment is coulomb meter. Now apart from this there are three more basic facts that we have to learn one is about the axis of dipole. This axis of dipole, the direction is from negative to positive. Similarly, dipole length that is also from negative to positive, and the dipole moment that is also from negative to positive. Having learned this level, let us uh, learn a very simple problem. Assume that I have got an xy plane. You know, this is the x axis, this is the y axis. Now, suppose at the origin here, I have a charge which is minus 2q, and along the x direction at this particular point if the coordinate is represented as a and 0 let a, we place a positive charge here now similarly along the y axis again a positive charge is placed at this particular point where the coordinate is 0 and a now we are asked to find the net electric dipole moment of this system so the first thing is we have to check for a dipole. Now we know that the dipole runs from minus q to plus q. So here we are having 
minus 2q. So what we need to do is we split this minus 2q into two charges that is minus q and now here again minus q because you know that now minus q minus q will give you how much that is minus 2q so that means we have separated it now you can see this system forms an electric dipole now similarly here this system also forms an electric dipole now both are perpendicular to each other so now you know that to find the net electric dipole moment we will see that this is the direction for the net electric dipole moment so I can write here P net now in the 11th grade by using the vector addition method you know that P net can be given as root of P1 square plus P2 square so here we can write here both the P1 and P2 are equal in magnitude because they are at the same distance A and A and the charges are also same. So I can write here this is root of 2P square which can be written as P root 2. Now you know that for P is equal to 2AQ that is the distance between the negative charge look at the first diagram and the positive charge but now you can see here between this minus q and q the distance is a similarly along the y axis again between minus q and this positive q the distance is again a so instead of 2a here the dipole length is actually a so i can write here p is equal to 2aq now this i can put this value over here so I get here aq root 2 that means I can write here root 2 aq so now this is the net dipole moment of this system hope you have understood this and thanks